Welcome back to Airgun Academy. For the past few episodes, we've been talking about scope mounts. Today, we'll begin looking at barrel droop, which is a condition that affects scope mounting in a major way. You might think that a rifle's barrel points straight out from the gun it's mounted on, but most of the time, that's not the case. In fact, most of the time, the barrel points slightly downward for one of several different reasons that we won't get into just yet. The important thing to know at this point is that this downward angle makes mounting and sighting in much more difficult. When the manufacturer installs a barrel, there's no guarantee that it will point straight ahead. It makes no difference if we're talking about brake barrels or actions that have fixed barrels. They can all be out of alignment, and most of them usually are. Unless the manufacturer takes special steps that require careful measurement and hand machining, the barrel will almost never point straight out from the rifle's action. So, when you mount a scope on the action, there's no guarantee that it will be set in the exact same direction as where the barrel is pointing. And this is true for air guns as well as firearms. Those special extra steps add hundreds of dollars to the manufacturing process, so you can be sure they're not done on lower cost rifles. Because the barrel and scope point in slightly different directions, it's much more difficult to get the scope aligned with the pellet's exact direction. While the barrel can point in any direction, remember, most of the time, it points slightly downward. When the scope is mounted on a rifle that has a downward angled barrel, the shot strikes below the aim point. It may be next to impossible to adjust the scope enough with its internal adjustments to get the aim point and the shot to coincide. We covered how the reticle works inside a scope back in episode 11. You learned that the reticle is housed inside an erector tube, which allows for adjustment in both directions. The erector tube, which is inside the outer scope tube, is under spring tension that opposes the scope knob adjustments. When the adjustment knobs are turned, they move the erector tube either against or away from the tensioning spring. To get the pellet to strike where the crosshairs of the scope are set, the shooter has to adjust the scope's internal vertical elevation knob upward. There's a point where the tensioning spring, which presses against the erector tube, fully relaxes. When that happens, the erector tube is free to move around from the vibration of each shot and the scope will no longer hold a zero. This is very important to remember because this is the most common cause for accuracy problems with scoped air rifles. Because of the problem with downward angle barrels, you cannot always simply mount a scope and then adjust the knobs to sight in. Many times, the scope has to be mounted in a special way to eliminate a lot of the barrel angle in relation to the scope angle before proper and accurate sighting in can begin. Barrels that angle downward are called droopers. This doesn't mean that the barrel is bent. It simply means that it points downward in relation to the scope. So, the obvious question is, what do you have to do to properly mount a scope when the barrel droops downward? To compensate for barrel droop, you have to raise the rear of the scope slightly when it's mounted so that it also points downward. This is done by a process known as shimming. A shim is a thin piece of flat material, like the plastic from a soda bottle, the aluminum from a soda can, or even something as simple as a business card. The shim material is cut to the same size as the width of the scope ring and placed inside the rear ring under the scope tube. It raises the rear of the scope a few thousandths of an inch, which is all you need when the barrel droop isn't too great. What you're trying to do is get the scope angled downward. When it's zeroed, the vertical adjustment knob is close to the center of its adjustment range. When the knob is adjusted up three quarters of the way towards the maximum, 
the erector tube spring is very close to being relaxed. That's when the problems of maintaining a zero begin. If the erector tube spring gets too relaxed, the erector tube will jump around with every shot. This allows the aim point to shift. We use only thin shims for this kind of scope installation because too much shimming causes the scope tube to bend when the scope caps are tightened. If the scope has to be angled down more than what a few thin shims will do, you need to use an adjustable scope mount to get more height without bending the scope tube. We'll be covering adjustable scope mounts in a future episode. For now, the main thing for you to know is that shimming too much may bend your scope tube when you tighten the scope caps. The object of shimming a scope is to make sure the vertical adjustment knob is far below the 3 quarters elevation mark once it's mounted. You can also feel when the erector tube spring starts to lose tension. The scope knob becomes mushier to turn, and the clicks become less well defined. This effect is more pronounced in lower priced scopes and varies from one brand to another. In most cases, it's the fastest way to recognize when the vertical elevation is too high. If you try to zero a scope that has a relaxed vertical erector spring, the zero point will shift at random. You may be able to sight in the scope, but at some point the groups will shift to another place. This will continue until the erector tube spring is put under sufficient tension to hold the tube in place shot after shot. Just as the vertical adjustment can allow the erector tube spring to go slack, the horizontal adjustment can do the same thing. This happens if it's adjusted too far to the right, causing the horizontal erector tube spring to relax. This is a situation that's much less likely to happen and it's seldom discussed. But in the interest of being thorough, we wanted you to know about it. We've covered a lot of ground in this episode, so let's review what we've learned so far about barrel droop. A barrel and scope seldom point in the exact same direction. A barrel tends to point downward, making the shots land below the aim point. This is known as barrel droop. If you adjust the scope too far, it will lose the ability to remain zeroed. Always remain below the three-quarter point on height adjustments. You can feel when the erector tube return spring has relaxed. The most obvious sign is when the clicks become less well-defined and the scope knob becomes mushier when you turn it. Shimming can correct a minor scope alignment problem. For a major alignment problem, you need an adjustable scope mount. Although we've covered quite a bit in this episode, we're not done with barrel droop just yet. Check back for more information about this and other air gun related topics. Thanks for watching Air Gun Academy. Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air.